The, look at this rocky terrain. Imagine you had an army going through this terrain, and then you would have to climb up. There are people uh, fighting arrows at you, and a massive boulder at you, and you're trying to get your army to capture this fort. This is why they build forts uh, on top of high areas. Welcome guys, I'm here at Fort Rotas and I'm here at the one of the 12 gates of Fort Rotas and also just look at the size of those gates. These were meant for elephants to pass through them and people used elephants in wars or many other things like transportation or carrying things from one place to another. That's why the fort, fort doors were made so big to allow elephants to pass through. And all the gates at Fort Rotas are built for elephants to pass through. So guys, let's go and explore this massive and beautiful property. Look at this. There are smaller ones. I'm in Fort Rotas right now. And when you look around in this area, it doesn't look much different from an old amusement park. But when you go in the corners or in the middle, you see massive walls. So let me show you around. You see those massive walls that were used to protect this fort. Shia Shia Suri was the person who ordered his men to build this fort. And then, uh, after the, in 1555, uh, this fort uh, was captured by Mughals. And the last people uh, to capture this fort were Britons. Britons. <laughs> so, there were many other rulers uh, in between. But, uh, the main thing was, uh, this was me. This fort was never seized. So this fort was built to celebrate the defeat of Mughals. Quite a disappointment after 15 years of being it being built, it was captured by Mughals. The same thing it was supposed to defend from. And just to say, this fort is massive, 4 kilometers big, its walls are like 30 plus feet tall and the walls are like at least 18 to 20 feet thick, that's how thick the walls are, imagine being the person building this, it took 7,000 men, 7,000 men, 8 years to build this entire fortress, 8 years, that's a long, long time, and the disappointing part was that Shesha Suri had already died before the fort was even completed, and then it was an absolute Disappointment after 15 years, it was captured by the exact people 
it was supposed to depend from what <laughs> a disappointment but when you see this pot in a person you just see the beauty of this pot you can climb up these stairs <laughs> guys But guys, I have not like this stairs all the way. These stairs are so big. How are you supposed to climb up and down these every single day? Look at that river over there. People were used to fetch water from that river. It talks about that river while we were on a bridge. So, this entire fort is massive it's beautiful it's old it has lots of plants and it's just so high up on top of a hill and just the beauty of this fort makes you want to see and learn a lot more about it and we still have a lot more things uh, to see like a well museum and uh, a few other things that way over there is the jandwali gate and just look at the size of that massive building so when you come closer to the doors eh, you actually see how big they are the doors eh, Wow, guys, just look at this forest in Fort Rostar. It's like a literal forest in this fort. Imagine how many creepy crawlies would be living in that forest. Snakes, scorpions, spiders. And imagine how many animals would be there. Just look at this beauty from here and we're gonna go up there as well three just look at the view from up here the just the view from down there was amazing but from up here it's absolutely incredible and look at that mountain over there that's the biggest mountain i've ever seen and i'm also gonna make a video one day about climbing that mountain inshallah but still this is amazing the view from here and that forest surrounding this fort from over there to all the way over there I'm entering this room and this room makes my voice echo because it's empty there's an area here and an area here this is risky I'm shivering. I don't like heights. But this is for you guys. So 
just look at the view from up here and imagine if you were bungee jumping that would be horrifying i'm shivering right now <laughs> and just look at the beautiful view i've never seen that mountain over there before but when i came here that mountain was the most obvious thing when i climbed up here that mountain over there is massive i'm going back to a scary Lock me in a dungeon. No, I'm stuck in a dungeon. Get me out of here. No. Oh, it's you. Imagine being stuck in a dungeon like this. Oh, wow. There's a hole on the top. So guys, this was an area like to keep prisoners in. This was like a dungeon to keep prisoners in. And you would be here locking this door so no one would get out. So guys, the reason why this fort is so high up is because people would have the high ground or while all there are battles and also there's a river over there which we talked about earlier and people used to get fat water from the, that exact river about 500 years ago that's a long time ago but look at this rocky terrain Imagine you had an army going through this terrain and then you would have to climb up. There are people fighting arrows at you and massive boulders at you and you're trying to get your army to capture this fort. This is why they build forts on top of high areas. So guys, this was the museum, but now it's closed. The last time I came here, it was closed. Now I came here, it was closed. Looking at the museum from the outside shows a lot, even though it's just a wall. Look at all the designs from all the bricks, stones, and rocks that were used. And also, just look at the size of this. I'm almost five feet tall, and this floor is like twice as tall as me. Everything here at Fort Rostas is super sized. Not, and uh, nothing is small here. Even the stairs are tiny. I never got in. Tired on stairs, but the size of these stairs uh, is so much that it makes me tired even going up this small of a staircase. Guys, let me show you the well. The well is over that way. So, guys, that is the well in Fort Rastas. It's called Bavli. When I meant everything is super sized here, I meant everything, even the rocks, the wells, 
Even the bridge is a super size. So this is the staircase which was used to take elephants from over there to into the well. Just imagine that. Imagine an elephant going down the stairs to fetch water from a well. Imagine that. So, it's already gotten dark because as I said, everything is super sized, even the walks are super sized. Imagine going down, up and down this thing with an elephant every single day. So guys, this was the tour of Fort Rohtas and I'll see you next time. Lafi, the time was out.